Topical deutasteride beat orphan asteride in a new study. These attention grabbing intros kill me. But anyway, a new study just dropped, boys and girls. So we know that finasteride one milligram daily is considered the gold standard for stopping boredom. This blocks type 2 5 alpha reductase, which stops testosterone from converting into DHT, saving you from the Norwood Reaper. <laughs> But oral deutasteride actually blocks all three types of 5-alpha reductase. And deutasteride at 0.5 mg daily suppressed DHT in the scalp by 51%, while finasteride, even at the 5 mg daily dose, only suppressed it by 41%. However, deutasteride isn't approved by most medication regulators and has to be prescribed off-label by doctors. However, people are absolutely terrified of these treatments, despite the safety data being pretty amazing at this point. But yes, side effects can happen in some rare cases and people are afraid of them. And so were born topical finasteride and deutasteride. Despite there not actually being a great deal of science to show that either of them reduce the risk of side effects, which I broke down in this video. But anyway, this new study had a pretty decent design. The study lasted for a little over five months, which honestly isn't ideal because you tend to need around six months to a year to notice any actual cosmetic improvements from hair loss treatments, and most guys anyway. Regardless, we can see that the results from the 0.05% deutasteride had the greatest improvements. The lower strength of topical deutasteride got beaten by oral finasteride, but 0.05% topical deutasteride appears to be the big daddy-o. Also, no participants had any severe side effects. It was good. We can also see from this study that oral finasteride increased serum testosterone by 20%. Bloody hell, gonna be moving like Rich Piano. <laughs> However, it only dropped serum DHT by 11% by the end of the study, which just looks like a straight up mistake because literally pretty much every other study on oral finasteride has seen around a 60 to 70% decrease in serum DHT. Now, the bigger issue with this study is that just making a liquid deutasteride and plopping it on the scalp probably won't do anything. This is because the deutasteride molecule itself is just too big to actually absorb through the scalp. And that's why a lot of new companies these days make their own like trademark blends that include other ingredients to help it permeate the skin. But the research on these just isn't that great yet. And also in terms of who funded this study, it looks like it might be Shilpa Medical Group, who I honestly don't know a great deal about guys, sorry. So maybe there was some sort of bias to put out good research to sell a new product. I don't know. Anyway, would I recommend topical deutasteride? No, oral finasteride and deutasteride are still the gold standard and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Follow for the facts.